Welcome back to my little corner of the world here in rustic Tuscany on top of the mountain. On this crisp and cold morning the mountain air feels sharp and invigorating and the view from my balcony never fails to take my breath away. Days like this are perfect for staying warm indoors and diving into cozy crafts. This week I finally finished weaving the sparkly evening stole that I've been working on. I did show you it on the loom in my last video, very briefly. I just can't wait to wear it on my upcoming trip to the theatre in Milan with my daughter. So I've been weaving very busily to try and get it finished. It's such a satisfying feeling to see it all come together on the loom. And weaving always brings me a sense of peace, tranquility, don't you think? It seems to give me time to collect my thoughts and empty my mind of worries and the repetitive nature of it just makes me feel rested but recharged at the same time. And of course there is the added benefit of being able to make myself lovely things all of them handcrafted and unique. So here is the finished stall. Look how the subtle shimmer of the fabric catches the light beautifully. It really is just perfect for my special night out. Now, as you know, if you watch my last video, I have decided to start making my own clothes and I've dusted down my old sewing machine and I've bought myself some patterns. This one cost me 250 on Vinted. I'm going for secondhand patterns. You can actually get them as this is, um, never used, never cut out. This is a skirt and a top various designs, a short or long skirt and a different top which I am definitely going to put on my list to be made for the summer. Now buying second-hand patterns is not only cost-effective but it's also more sustainable. I'm a great believer in that especially compared to printing PDFs at home which can be ink intensive or expensive if you have them printed elsewhere. So again on Vinted, I managed to find a lot of 16, various patterns, various styles for 10 euros. So I'm delighted with these. This first one is an evening suit with a boxy jacket and straight trousers. And this is a suit with a fitted jacket. 
and recommends a heavier fabric and wide leg trousers and I think that can probably be dressed up to be quite glamorous for the evening if you make it in a velvety kind of a fabric. Next one is a tiered sundress which I may make without the tears so I prefer a smoother finish. Recommends viscose for this but I don't want to use viscose because of the chemicals that are used in its production. It's not a completely natural fabric for me. Glamorous evening top here, a geometric design. This is a mini skirt. I don't think I'm still in my mini skirt wearing day, so I, I probably pass on this. Maybe my daughter will want a skirt. Well, this is an interesting frock with an asymmetric neckline. I don't think I like the sleeve. I think I prefer a plainer sleeve without the puff at the top. But anyway, we shall see. Included in my lot of patterns was a jean pattern. I have made trousers before, but they're elasticated waist and not very fitted. This is a glamorous dress in a knitted fabric with a matching scarf. I think that would be really nice in the autumn time. It's probably a bit late for this year now because our weather's already gone quite cool. Oh no, this is a sleeveless coat and if you've got a lovely sweater underneath it can look very glamorous and elegant in the autumn time again here in Italy or even the spring maybe one for the summer for me maybe not a little sundress absolutely delighted with these patterns by the way this I'm definitely going to make it for the summertime it's a wrap over frock sleeveless with a v-neck I think that will look ever so elegant if I go on a trip to my nearest town Another trouser pattern, this time it's more of a straight leg. I don't know whether I'd want to do a lowish waist, I prefer a higher waist, so I'll have to see if I can um, lengthen the rise. Wide leg trousers and a crop top, definitely I'll go in for the wide leg trousers for the summer. Maybe adjust the top so it comes down a little bit lower. I love that look actually. This next one, definitely I see myself evening cocktail party here in Italy because it's a long dress with a side slit. It just looks so cool. So I shall be looking, I might do this in linen. Viscose is recommended for this one, but as you know, I don't want to use that. So I think a fine linen might just have the drapey effect that I want. definitely going to make this pinafore. I think if I do it in a corduroy, maybe a baby cord or a velvet even for a more of a dressy look. No wardrobe is complete without a jumpsuit and so again very glamorous if I could do it in maybe a silk or a linen. This would be springtime here because it's a three quarter length sleeve. So, what do you think of my pattern haul? Please let me know below, I'm absolutely delighted. I think maybe I would have liked one or two more winter patterns, but I'm thrilled with these for 10 euros and so I can plan my summer wardrobe. I am so excited to start sewing again, even if I'm a bit nervous. And my plans are there, you've seen, to create some lovely wardrobe pieces that I can make to fit me properly. I've invested in some new needles and some Taylor's chalk. 
because I really do think that you need the right tools to do a job properly. I've never used Taylor's chalk before. I've always been in a rush when I've made things. But the older I get, the more I realize to do a really good job, you take your time. So this came in lots of different colors and I'm sure it will last me quite a long time. Before diving into my bigger sewing projects that I have planned, I decided to hem a thrifted pair of black cord jeans. Absolute perfect excuse to test out my newly cleaned up sewing machine. I got these jeans when I went to Britain to visit my mum and the hem was just um, an iron on fused webbing, I, uh, hemming, and it had all come down. The jeans were short anyway, um, so I wanted to lengthen them. I've washed them, and I was hoping that some of the glue would wash off, but it hasn't. But I know that if I fold up the hem, it will be hidden underneath. I think it will wear off in time. So I'm keen to get started. My new bulb is working nicely. Just need to wind some dark thread onto a bobbin. And off I go. Sorry about my voice. I've got a bit of a cold at the moment. really pleased that my sewing machine worked very well and it's always rewarding to breathe new life into pre-loved clothes. I'll show you in the next video what they look like. Here is a finished watercolour I've just made. It's for my second botanical watercolour and to go with the one that's in one of my previous videos. I chose the Vibrant Bird of Paradise flower because it does pair wonderfully well with my previous piece. And this is the second of three planned paintings which are going to decorate my living room. Painting I love because it helps me to slow down, recharge and stay in the moment. Hope you like it. Please comment below and let me know what you think. Well, thank you for spending this cosy day with me. If you enjoyed this glimpse into life in my little Tuscan home and my crafting adventures, please support this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It really does help support my channel and it means the world to me. I'll see you again soon for some more cosy, creative living. See you next time.